All right, everybody. Hi. Uh, we're going to do a positioning video today. Uh, we're doing a sinus series. Uh, the reason we're doing a sinus series is the, the VA uh, is asking if we do sinus x-rays. And yes, we're going to do sinus x-rays. That's why this tutorial is coming out now. Uh, I want you to take a look at it and, and practice it. Sinuses aren't hard. Uh, it's just a matter of getting your central ray right. And we're going to go through how to do that. So take the time, watch this video, uh, and figure it out. If you have questions, let me know. Okay, sinus series. Uh, there's four different projections. We're going to do a PA Waters, a PA Waters Modified, a PA Caldwell, and a Lateral. Uh, we're going to do these at 40 inches. These can be done at 72 inches if needed. Uh, we do do them at 40, though. So our central ray for Waters it's not where it enters the body, it's where it exits the body, okay? So the beam is actually going to exit the nasal, which is right here between your eyes, the bridge of your nose. Called well, the beam exits the acanthon, which is your upper lip, and the lateral right at the zygoma bone, okay? Uh, collimation, we need to, uh, superiorly, we need to include uh, the maxillary sinuses or the frontal sinuses right here. Okay, we need to make sure we get those. Uh, inferior, we need to include the, the maxillary sinus, which is the bottom sin, uh, sinus. And lateral, just both skin margins on the side of the face. Technical factors, 70 kbp between 70 and 24. So on most people, 70 at 20 is gonna be money, okay? Uh, make sure all sinus x-rays are done upright. Uh, the reason we do that is so we can see air fluid levels within the sinus. Uh, and the patient may be seated during the x-rays if, if they want to be. That's great. Okay. Uh, take special care uh, that the head is always straight with no rotation. Okay. That's pretty, pretty basic stuff. Let's just look at the sinuses real quick. Okay. We've got our frontal right here and here. Okay. Right up above your eyebrows. And then we have got the the ethmoid next, and then the sphenoid next. And then on our way down, we're gonna hit the maxillary sinuses, which are on the, the top part of your mouth, okay? We just need to maybe include those on our images, so. Okay, let's get started. We got Kate, we've got uh, our wonderful Miss Anderson here <laughs> running our camera, okay? All right, so we're gonna do these PA, right? So we're gonna have Kate face the board, Okay. In perfect world, we would have Kate take her hair tie out, whatever she's got in there, uh, any necklace. Uh, nose rings, yes, would need to come out for this one. Um, however, your rings and your ears, they're fine. Okay. So remember, we're going to put our patient right up against the board here, facing the board. The first one we're going to do is a called well. Okay. Now, called well, the patient is actually going to put their forehead and nose against her. I'll have you just swing around and show that real quick. Okay, this is a Caldwell. Uh, on a skull, Caldwell, we would angle our tube. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna use a straight tube angle. Makes it easy peasy. Now you'll note that the central ray is coming right through and it needs to exit the, the nasion, which is right between Kate's nose. Okay, you'll note that there are central rays coming across here and it's actually exiting the top of her nose, the nose bridge, okay? All right, make sure head is straight. We don't want them off in any way, okay? Collimation wise, we wanna make sure we're including the frontal sinus and the maxillary sinus. So if we've got light above the frontal sinuses and, and uh, we're down here around the chin, we're in good shape, okay? Now, We've collimated as tightly as we want, okay? We're open this way, so we have light on the sides. And we're open to the frontal, and we're open to the ethmoid, or the, for heaven's sakes, the maxillary sinuses. Okay, we're gonna mark this with a left, okay? Because this is Kate's left side, right? Okay, and we're gonna shoot this uh, on suspended breathing. So we're gonna shoot at 70 at like 20. And bam, there's your Caldwell. Okay, let's move on to a waters. Now waters, just remember you wanna keep their head out of water. So their, 
actually gonna put their chin and let's have her touch her nose ever so slightly. And we're just gonna come back off from her nose a little bit, just like that, okay. Now the central ray for this one is actually gonna exit right below the nose, okay? Or the acanthon, what we call that. All these fancy names, okay? So you'll see that the line, the central ray line is coming across and exiting right at the top of Kate's lip, okay? So her chin and her nose are almost touching, okay, the, the board. Again, we wanna make sure that they're straight, okay? We are gonna collimate down because we don't leave the top of her head, okay? So here we go. Central ray has left the acanthon, and bam, we're ready to go. We've got it marked in the light on the proper side, right? Okay, so this is your water's view. Now we're gonna really goof things up here. We're gonna do a modified waters. Okay, we're gonna put patient in the exact same position, nose just off the, off the IR there, their chin touching. Same, uh, same central ray, the acanthon. We're gonna have Kate open her mouth. There you go. And you're gonna shoot this, this image with an open mouth. That's gonna allow us to see the sphenoid and the ethnoid sinuses through the open mouth, okay? All right, very good. Okay, last one, we're gonna do a lateral. You can do either right or left lateral, however you're feeling that day, it'll be fine, okay. So we're gonna have Kate kind of quarter into the image receptor there. And we're gonna turn her face so it is straight up and down, okay? We're not, we don't want it candid either way. And our central ray is gonna go right in at the zygoma bone. Zygoma bone is right here. So we're actually looking right in between the outer canthus or the outer eye and the EAM. That space right in between is where you want your central ray. And right at the zygoma bone right there, okay? Collimation wise, we just wanna make sure we include the frontal sinus. We wanna include the maxillary sinus, okay? And then anterior and posterior, we just want light on both sides, okay? We're gonna mark this with an L because it is her left lateral, okay? Make sure she's nice and straight, and bam, there we go, okay? I want you guys to go through these and, and really look at this, where you want your center rays to enter and exit. Uh, it's all about practice. So in an effort to help our veterans, I would like you guys to learn how to do these, okay? so. Just get, jump in there, practice, and we'll, we'll be good, okay? Thank you so much, guys. Have a good day.